So in detail, in detail, and on this page, it's and then change the C of P X. So A and B so that we see now. And uh, I suppose we can try the integral form of J sub zero and see if that is easier. And that form should be somewhere in so it's like fourteen point twelve. A uh, forty point twenty. See fourteen twenty. There is a zero. It's this. One of the two points. Two points. This is twenty. Twenty. Let's see if this is, this will work. So uh, what you actually need is a uh, J sub zero B X so you multiply by B here. And you put that into here so this integral will be. So you put it in the wonderful two pi and the zero to two pi integrate over B theta. But then you have the integrator dx to zero to infinity. Now you can combine the exponential function with p to the minus a minus a x and then plus uh, b x. And I mean, how do you have the, the, the x over here? So, uh, so you pull out the common x here. So this will give you the same exponential function, basically minus a x times b times a. And then divided by minus a plus b. And evaluate infinity. And infinity, supposedly, the a the a term will kill it. This is the oxidation term, so that doesn't matter. But minus a at infinity will kill the upper limit. The lower limit will be so you have the, this is lower limit, this is negative C infinity. Uh, lower limit is the x is zero, so the exponential function comes with one. Okay. So that is a minus one is b. Now, uh, this integral uh, can probably be done with uh, what we learned before in, in I, I thought, uh, either in the complex variables chapter or the, the theta function chapter. A beta function is yes. Uh, well, you can look, look it up online, look up the table. Yeah, that would be easy. Let's do uh, the gamma, gamma function is what is 13. Uh, when we talk about beta function, we have all these. Uh, Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, the beta function topic don't, don't work. That uh, often is using the trick 
right uh, chapter chapter eleven. Uh, when we talk about the path integrals, one case basically, I think the first case is that uh, a function of sine theta cosine theta integrate over zero to two pi. That's a eleven point nine. So start from using eleven point nine one. The formulation of that, because this this is exactly of this, right? And just use uh, the procedure over here. So it's such that e and z is e to the i theta and so on, and move change that to a loop integral in the compact z plane. Okay, you remember to do this kind of thing, right? In chapter eleven. Um, so that probably will give you the answer. <laughs> but I'm out of time. So try this. Uh, after we go, we go to the end and use the formulation starting from 11.